Hello everyone. Now, as you all know, TweetDeck is the most popular social media client currently available for the Android platform. However, there have been some changes lately to the app that made me think of changing to another client. So that's why I've singled out three apps that have both Facebook and Twitter integration for comparison to TweetDeck. Now let's take a look at TweetDeck first. The appeal of TweetDeck is in its column interface. Okay. This is the main column. You can choose to have both Facebook and Twitter updates included in this column. So feeds from both Twitter and Facebook are integrated into one stream. As, as you can see here, the blue ones are Facebook while the grey ones are Twitter which is quite awesome. Now TweetDeck lets you post simultaneously to both Facebook and Twitter like so. But then if the character count is more than 140 as you can see later for Twitter it will shorten the tweet using a tweet shortening service tweetly as you can see there the same <clears throat> the same post will not be shortened for Facebook it will be shown in totality now swiping to the right brings you to notifications Here are the notifications for both Twitter and Facebook. Again, the blue ones are Facebook, the grey ones are Twitter. Here you can see all the comments, likes, mentions or retweets that you have received. And as you can see here, pictures are previewed as soon as you tap into it. You tap into the tweet, if it contains a picture, it will show the preview right below it. The same goes for Facebook as well. Now the bad thing about Twitter is that it is removing that feature I told you just now, this Duckly, from its latest update. Because TweetDeck has been purchased by Twitter and they want the, of the Twitter app that they bought to be as clean as possible without all these services included, so that's a bummer. Now, the other bad thing is that Facebook integration is a bit spotty for TweetDeck, especially for um, status comments. Let's take a look at this status of mine. Somebody's commented on my status. If I tap on it, it doesn't go to my status, but if but it works for other stuff like if I commented on somebody's link and somebody else replies, I get redirected to that item. Other people's status is spotty as well. But then photos work. Now the other bad thing about TweetDeck is that it doesn't support a lot of image hosting, hosting sites. Like for one, um, the one that I can think of right now is Locus. A lot of my friends use it, but I need to tap on the link and open the picture using a browser every single time and it's a bit annoying. Now let's take a look at the alternatives. The first alternative is Sobeys. Sobeys is quite, is a relatively new app, and it has that column interface as well. But both, but Facebook and Twitter are separated. This is my Twitter feed, and this is the Facebook one.
Now, Sobeys doesn't give you Facebook notifications, so that kind of sucks. And it doesn't preview images. As you can see, the image isn't previewed for Twitter, but for Facebook, it shows up nicely after you tap it. After you tap on it, the link previews as normal. <clears throat> Another thing about Sobeys is that you can't really post simultaneously to both Twitter and Facebook, so you have to swipe around just to post in that particular social service. Next, we'll look at Hootsuite. Hootsuite allows you to customize your columns as well. As you, can, you can do whatever you want, play around. I've singled out the home feed, the Twitter home feed, and the Facebook ones, like so. As you can see, both social services are separated as well. For Facebook, the links or pictures show up directly, while for Twitter, it doesn't, which is a bummer as well. Posting simultaneously works, as you can select like that. Now the bad thing about Hootsuite is that when you first launch it, it brings you to this page, which isn't what I want if I want to check on my friends' updates. So I will need to tap twice just to look at my new stream, which is annoying. Hootsuite doesn't have any notification for Facebook as well, so that's a bit annoying when you have posted a status and you expect people to reply to it. Now the last one, we'll look at Seismic. Seismic is more like two apps meshed together with no integration between them, other than posting status updates. This is my Facebook stream. As you can see, the images preview nicely. Now why I say that it's like two apps joined together with no integration is because if you want to look at like for example this is my Facebook feed I want to look at my Twitter feed I need to tap on this thing here and need to select the Twitter thing now, there's no swiping around so that's a bit annoying images don't preview as in Twitter now if you want to post something, you need to tap here and select the sites that you want to post to and tap OK. And it's so in conclusion, TweetDeck is still the best social media client, but Obviously, there are bugs that need to be rectified before a true integration of both Facebook and Twitter can be done. I don't know what's wrong behind the scenes with it, but it doesn't seem to integrate the Facebook part of it very, very well. It used to be okay, but after some updates, it doesn't work anymore. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.